Hello, everyone. Welcome to the One Anti Heroes channel. For the first time in like years, I'm doing a deck profile, and it's Vanguard. I told you I would Rude. do it on this man exclusively. Rude. What's your name? Uh, Bailey. It doesn't matter. Happening. Oh, that's uh, all right. This is TVMA for the rest of the video. So, <laughs> all right. Um, so tell me about your life, aka what'd you do last weekend? Uh, I made top 16 at ARG Nationals. With what deck? The X go and give it to you. Kairo, the bee's knees. DMX would be proud. Facts. Tell me about your matchups. Um, well, I was going to this tournament expecting a lot of Angel Feather and a lot of Gear Chronicle, and I didn't play any Angel Feather, and I played like three Gear Chronicle. Did you beat them though? I'm went one one against Gears. Uh, that it was a really funny game, like one of the games against Gears. Um, I actually got a. Uh, wow. He got G assisted at four. Like four, he had a G assist four times, and he still won the game because he just rushed me at two. So I kept drive checking grade three. So I was like, oh well, fuck me, I guess. And the other one, uh, he couldn't get his uh, grade three right, so I just kind of rushed him and got like advantage from there. Shut up, bro. Um, other than that, I played against a Bermuda deck that ended up top sixteening. I lost him round one. It was pretty good. Um, I played against another Bermuda deck, Morris. It was kind of, it was a little slow compared to my deck, and I'm playing like one of the slowest decks in the format, so he couldn't just like get advantage off that, and I just kind of like won. And I played against William Cole in his Highlander deck. That, that was funny as hell. I had to apologize because I was like sacking so much. Story of your life. Facts. And um, then I played against Great Legend. I was kind of, I was confident going against Great Legend because I'm playing the X, and I know like most Great Legend decks play G perfect. So all I had to do was play Rear in the back, so that way like their, all their great threes were useless. And uh, yeah, I won that matchup. And then in top 16, I played against Gears, and I lost to game three. He got the last crit on next stage. Other than that, it was a fantastic game, and like he was kind of expected to get the crit because they got one the entire game. So I wasn't that salty about it. I see. All right, well, uh, let's get right into the deck profile. All right, starters, my boy Red Pulse Draco Kid, because, you know, I try. I mean, like, way back in the day, like, I think uh, in States a couple months ago, I played uh, the GB one just because it was a 5K and I could rush more. But this helps with my tempo plays, so I can tempo uh, call it, or Calamity Tower and then get my uh, Legend without fucking it up. You uh, see? What's that? Four draws. Now, anyone asking, I didn't play any of the dragon or flame dragon triggers because I wanted to be pretty and I wanted to use all four triggers. I mean, she is cute. Look at this, though. That's a guy. That's awkward. Okay. <laughs> I'm keeping that in, too. I don't care. Uh, I played Castlevania, motherfucker. Okay. Eight crit, four heal, obvious kind of shit here. Uh, Typical stuff. I kind of regret not playing six draw, but like at the same time. Two triggers. I probably would, like at most. I probably would just played five draw, honestly. I see. That's the man I need to see. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, then I played two stride fodder because I played nine grade three, so two stride fodder is kind of there. Uh, two wyvern. I might cut this to one, like in my final build, just because I only used it for the tempo play and like maybe like once or twice to try to infinite legion. But other than that, like nothing. This card. Shout out. Shout out to my friend Derek, because he I always said this card is shit. I regret everything I said about this card. This card is great. This card's broken. I wouldn't say broken, but so like, would you say this card is good? Yeah, this card is good. Like that okay. nice. Uh three Conro, just because, you know. Unflipping damage for free is good. And then four regular perfects, because ever since last year I have been on a vendetta shut up phone about G perfect guards in Kagero, and I still don't think it's good. Even in Great Legend, I still kinda don't think it's good. Good talk. You're right. Alright, uh, grade two is I'm playing one of the bar, uh, what, especially since like I always first wrote the legend that I would always try to go for my tempo play with Calamity Tower, I think that uh, playing the one bar was pretty good because uh, you don't need the soul to get the flame dragon on bottom. Worst card in my entire deck, this card's terrible. I'm cutting this card in like 110%. This card, I never use this card's effect. It only card is good in, uh, it's only good in Great Legend. That's it. What would you put in in place uh, of that? Burning Horn, probably. It's the 12k attacker for Overlords, but I mean, like, it would have applied more pressure than this shit card. Okay. okay. Get out of my face. Alright, shit card. Alright. You saw him. Move through Uh, four burnout. Obvious. Don't steal my bind, dude. I wasn't stealing, I was simply back up for you. I'll save you back up for you. Thank you, Four of the best grade two in the entire deck. The Hollem. And that's it for grade twos. Grade threes, I got two of the legend. Uh, 
I just think that like riding Legend Turn three and then riding Legend Turn four and going first ride. I mean, like that's really good. Okay. Uh, okay. Three the end. Yeah, obvious. It's called the end. Yeah. Would the end? Did it spell the end for your opponents? Except for in top sixteen, but yeah. Okay. All right. And then for the cross. The cross. The end. Oh my boys. Beautiful cards. And let's go and give it to you. Okay, so that's it for the main deck. Alright, I got the stride deck. I'm playing Chop to my boy Kai. One Vortex Dragon. I literally just played it just because of the flip I can do with a Titan. I call it Titan, I know it's called Titan, eat a dick. Um, and get some really retiring going off. Uh, then I played two Noble Vague as a finisher. Uh, I didn't know that. Uh, with Novo Vague, the damage, I was stupid, and I was in top 16, and the damage trigger actually goes off first, so I was playing against uh, Alfred Barry, I believe his name is? Sorry, I got it wrong in my interview, I think, but, um, and he double healed off Novo Vague, I was like, does that work? And then, like, the judge came over, was like, yeah, it works, so I was like, well, fuck this card. <laughs> Good talk. Then I play four Titan. It's a lot of Titan. Uh, this card's just... It's exactly what Kagero needed. It gave uh, mid game pressure and it helps with crit. So, I mean, like, it burns PGs for you for this bad boy. Uh, then I played for the ace. Um, with Sanctuary Guard being back in the meta, kinda, I guess, like, since it won, I might cut this down to two and play two root players instead. Okay, okay. And then I actually played the 5G Guard package. Um, instead of playing the Once of Breeze, I played the 5G Guard package because, uh, I was talking to my friend Derek, the guy who let me the deck, and I was like, shouldn't you be playing some reason instead of five uh, G guards? It just doesn't make sense. He was like, nah, this is better because you have more options. I was like, all right, well, I'll try it. And like, it definitely helped. I uh, do not regret whatsoever playing five. 100%. 100%. 100 yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, do you have any special shout outs or anything you want to say? Uh, shout out to everyone I tested against. Uh, Josh. Shout out to Mark for helping me out, you know, as always. Shout out to Derek for lending me the deck. I really appreciate it. Shout out to everyone I went with. Of course, you, Kevin. Thanks. Uh, and like I did in my last profile, Aaron. That's Aaron. That's Aaron. And everyone I went with, Pete, Rob, uh, Kyle, even though he was sick, Ben, and everyone there, uh, my boy Austin, Bart, uh, and all of ARG, I guess, because I mean, like, I got the top 16, so, and... Oh, look oh, at that. A shout out to ARG. I haven't heard that in a while. Shout out to the bunny ears. The God bun bless. Yo, he just pointed out the ceiling. God bless. All right. Um, so what's the next event you're going to? Um, I mean, like, I'm going to tomorrow, the BCW for uh, the best of one white plane design that I'm probably just going to go to test the deck with. Okay, and that's uh, Saturday, August 6th. Correct. In case I don't post this up right away tonight. Right. Okay. And All right. then Rhode Island next week. So basically we'll see some... Some topping is what I hear. Hopefully. Hopefully. I doubt. I doubt tomorrow just because it's the best of one event. I'm just going to test the deck. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's all. All right. Well, thank you, Bailey Happenin. Thank you very much, and I'll see you guys around. All right. One answer hero out. Do